name to start? Well, my thoughts. I uh, I was excited. Uh, you know, I was telling, I was talking to Joey, and I just said, you know, nowadays it's the whole social media aspect of it that that now coaches have to name a quarterback one, and you know, Joey will play. Uh, Joey played a lot, and you know I'm super happy for Bo. I'm close with Bo. The dude's very smart, and uh, he's gonna make big plays. But you know Joey is as well too. Like he's a he's a good kid, just as smart, and uh, you know just one of those things where you gotta choose one quarterback to start the first game. So, but both are really really good athletes, really good kids, and uh, I'm excited for both of them to lead our team. Will just for yourself, I mean you've had two surgeries. You haven't been able to get up, be on the field. Obviously last season as much as you want to be, and then. Preseason camp, you're resting a sore knee. How confident do you feel about your body and yourself going into this opener? You know, actually, truthfully, I feel very confident. I uh, usually I'm not a very confident guy, but uh, I feel really, really confident about my body. Uh, you know, we were doing one on. I was doing one on ones during the middle of camp, and you know, I was just I felt like my old self. And so I know that I know I still have the quickness and I still have the speed, and so I'm really, really not that worried. Uh, you know, Coach Malzahn wanted to play tomorrow with Eli and I, and uh, you know, I know for a fact he feels good, and I feel great, and so we're both ready to get going, and uh, we're you know we're full go for practice, so and it feels really good, so I'm I'm ready. Am I right? If I recall, back in high school, you get really nervous before games, and you would even puke sometimes. I, I never actually puke, but I do get very nervous. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I that's one of my. Uh, so that that's changed the value. Yeah, I mean, I would say in between, I still say that I would get nervous. I think that's just my human nature, yeah. me and myself. But uh, it's just something that's always been like that. But I definitely feel uh, more confident than I do nervous. And so I feel like I do back in high school where it's just, you know, I, I, it's not that I'm nervous now. I know right before a game I'll be nervous. Uh, but, I mean, like I tell everyone, once you get that first hit out of the way, you're good to go for a whole game. So it's just that initial one. We we asked Caleb about having you and Eli back, and he he said it brought confidence to them. Can you feel a different feel when you two and Seth and everybody kind of comes together on offense now? Yeah, you definitely can. You know, it's uh, it's it feels good being back out there with everyone and just having Eli, myself, Seth, Sal, you know, Matthew, Anthony. It feels good having all of us out there, and I think you can definitely tell the difference in practice because uh, you know we just bring that next level, and so it helps helps everyone bring up that next level. It's not like Malzahn's been holding you out like as a precaution here in some of the like the scrimmages and whatnot. Yeah. When's the last time you were involved with like full contact stuff? Full contact? Uh, man. It's been a minute. Yeah, that was a long. Yeah, yeah, that was okay. uh, probably a while ago. Or, uh, probably when I tore my ACL in 2018. All right. Probably in the spring. So I, I haven't really been in that much contact, but, you know, we're still, you know, in preseason, like in fall camp, we're still doing a little hitting drills. It's not like, you know, we're still getting, like, bump tackle, you know how every team does, but it's not like we're getting tackled to the ground or anything, but I wouldn't suspect that to be a major issue when we get to the game because it's, you know, it's the same stuff. You get tackled, you get back up. I'm not, not worried about it. Did you say that Anthony's back out there at practice? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's out there at practice. He's he's not practicing, though. He's just, he's just watching, yeah. Talk about the receivers as a group. Uh, what are your expectations? Uh, I'm I'm very confident about the receivers. Uh, you know, I know there's been a lot of talk this preseason about you know how we haven't been doing very well. Uh, but you know, there was there's just a couple things that we had to fix, and I think we fixed those. And you know, now it's the game week, and so we're we're prepared. And uh, well, I should say next week's the game week, but we're getting prepared. And we're you know we're getting under the game plan. So. Once you get that game plan in, you know, there's no bust, and everyone knows that, and uh, we'll be prepared for sure. What do you know about Oregon's defense or, and their secondary and, and even maybe some of their personnel? Uh, I, I've been watching a lot of film on them lately. I know that uh, their favorite defense is a four-down cover three, and then their second is a uh, three-down cover four. And so it's just you got to look at a lot of things, especially being the slot, uh, how their linebackers play, how the safety will roll down. Uh, and there's a lot of things that, you know, we're prepared to do. Uh, you know, first, second, third down uh, that, you know, you just watch and you see. So there's a lot of stuff that I've picked up on to uh, watch out for during the game. How has uh, Bo responded the last couple practices since being named starter? I mean, is there any slight change there? No, no, no slight change. The dude, uh, the dude's a, uh, he's just a freak. He, uh, I told him when he got here, you know, I, I was trying, me and Gracie, my fiance, we've been kind of mentoring him and watching out for him, and uh, he just he's level he's level headed. He doesn't change, doesn't let the hype get to him, which is the best thing that anyone could do. Uh, and so he's a good dude, and uh, you know he's he's going to keep it steady, fast, and ready to go.
I know you play receiver, obviously, but what do you play? Are you a five? What, what, in your head, what, what position would you say you play? Uh, I would say that I play the three, so in ten personnel, I come in and play the three, and then uh, also in you know uh, ten personnel, I play the two. So the kind of the inside player, the inside slot player, and then what Eli Stove and Matthew Hill will play. Right. So does your fiance really have Twitter just to read all of our stuff? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she gets on. She gets on there just to read y'all y'all stuff for sure. She, uh, cause like I said, I don't really get on it that much, and she <laughs> likes to read it. And so it's funny that she'll, you know, she'll send me y'all stuff. She's like, did you see this? I'm like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> so uh, what is what is she she and what do you think about Gus Malzahn saying that he thinks you're an NFL player? She, she you know, she's excited. She, she definitely keeps me humble, which I, you know, I need. Uh, cause like I said earlier on, like you know, when when all that, you know, that. Like in 2016, when all that hype came upon me, you know, I didn't have anyone there to humble me, and that was kind of my downfall. And so, I'm glad that I have her in my life to keep me humble and you know keep me level-headed. Because there's a lot of times where even you know now I'm in the state where I'm like, oh man, I'm I'm the man, but really, you know, we're all the same. We're all just down here. And so, I'm glad that I have her in my life to keep me level-headed. And uh, she she does laugh at a lot of stuff that the coaches say about being a 13 year old and all that. She's just <laughs> like, come on, you can't let them say that about you. <laughs> I, I said, I know, but I. Can't do anything about it. You said 16 was, you kind of got too much of a big head. It was kind of your downfall. What do you mean by that? I just, I think that, you know, being a walk on kicker, I think anyone in this obviously situation who was a walk on kicker that got the opportunity to play uh, and did okay against Clemson, caught three balls, and then, you know, we played Texas AM the next week, or no, Arkansas State gets a touchdown, you know, I'm, I'm living the best time of my life. I think you know, I'm the man. And then Texas a &M comes, and I just drop a ball, miss blocks, fall off, and then you don't see my name again until Alabama. And so I think, you know, God definitely humbled me, which I needed. You know, I thought, you know, I think it would happen to anyone, but especially calling on myself, I think that I got big-headed, and, you know, she knows that. I told, I told my family that that was my downfall for sure. And uh, God humbled me, and, you know, now, now we're here, so hopefully – you know, I know now to stay humble for sure. So I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stay level-headed like Bo and uh, a lot of the other players, and be excited for this. Have you? Do you think what you've done is probably like unprecedented to be a walk-on kicker and then become a starting wide receiver? At first, I did, and then you know, I, I see a lot of kids truly, truly doing it. I, uh, I wouldn't say walk-on kickers or anything, but I would say I see a lot of walk-ons nowadays. You know, making their role and making their spot, and that's just because they have the drive to do it. And, uh, you know, they're, they're the ones that are always running on the field, running off the field first. And so I think, you know, I wouldn't say it's unprecedented. I would just say there's a lot more kids doing it. And, you know, that humbles me too because I know that there's a lot of more people out there that I don't know about that, you know, could be at a smaller school, but they don't have that spotlight on them. And so there's are kickers, though. I, I, some, I don't know. I, I've, never, I've never truly looked into it, but uh, some could be, some couldn't be. Uh, but that's a, a definitely interesting statistic to look at. Uh, well, can you talk about the work you put in to get back to this point so you can be your own self? Yeah, that's definitely a lot. It, uh, you know, I would say it shaped me to be a man now that I am. I would say before I was kind of, I, uh, you know, I wouldn't say a boy, but I was growing into that mature age. Now I would say that I'm a man. Just uh, the fact that, you know, you have to get up with those early mornings. That, you know, we had workouts at 545 and I had to get in there at 430 just to start doing treatment. So there was a lot of things that, uh, made me have to start getting up early when you know I used to sleep in late and so it's definitely shaped me to who I am and uh, you know just knowing for the fact that I've put so much hard work into rehab and running after practice and catching balls after practice and doing so many other things to make sure that my knee's okay that I do feel confident out there and I'm ready to go 100%. This is going to be a dumb question but uh, Gus I guess a week or two ago said Court Samberg's kind of like the team dad. Aaron yeah. Sipos was in here the other day said he felt he was a little offended because he's a little older than Court yeah. but doesn't get any respect because he's a specialist. Yeah. Who do you think would be the team dad? Uh, I haven't really thought about it like that. I, I still, I still for some reason, kind of see Tyler Stovall as a team dad. He's not even on the team. Uh, but I don't know. I, I haven't really. I would. I guess Cord, uh, just because he has sound, come what, somewhat of a baseball beard, kind of makes him look like a dad. Uh, but Aaron, you know, he kind of he looks young. And Cord kind of looks older. So. That's what I would say. No respect for a specialist being a former kicker. Yeah, you know, I, I, lo <laughs> I love Aaron. I love him. I love talking like an Australian. And I love talking to him like that. And so he always gets angry at me. <laughs> it's fun.
or anything else?